All right. Interesting. I love how this guy's been, like, duplicitous the entire time, and my choice as an adventurer is like, I'll just keep helping him. All right, what, what could go wrong here? All right, what you got here? You got an M, or an E, or a 3. Uh, take it. You don't have any free sp Oh my god, I'm loaded up. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and drop it. Drop it. Uh, drop it. Yes, Nick Man, can I please have uh, the items if you have them? Do I need to come up? Am I instanced? Oh, interesting. Um, it, it sure is, Amy. I didn't know that. Okay. So, do can you please um, drop uh, a candle, a piece of coal, a normal log? Oh, okay. When I need them. Okay, sure. All right, let's look around. All right, this door has something on it. Open it. And examine it. The recess in the arm, the shape of a right arm. Okay. Hey, hey, Leonard, what's up, my friend? Good to see you. All right, I gotcha. Okay, let's see. Interact with the statue. Um, I'd like to use... I mean, the chisel, I guess? Remove the right arm. Alright, let's go see if this does anything. Use this on that. It fits exactly. Wow, I'm good. Ow, my head. What happened? Oh, I'm being... I'm in an old-time movie. At last, it's complete. A temple fit for my lord. So this is Anakra. Okay. Boy, that was weird. I want to... I mean, I really love the convention of showing that you're back in time... Uh, by using film grain and black and white. Like, what? That's so, that's so bizarre. Like, you know, I mean, it, it supposes so many things. Like, as if I would be playing RuneScape, you know, in the 1920s, watching films at the, at the uh, you know, um, silent movies or something like that. Uh, I, it's very odd. Okay. Um, so did I open the door or not? Let me see what they got. What happened to the arm? It has a bunch of recordings everywhere. And, but it's like why were the recordings made using old film that was monochromatic? Okay, anyway. Um, this looks odd. Nothing bad could happen to me as I walk down this pathway. Alright, I got a Z. Got it. Um, so I now have a an M and a Z. Okay. Let's see what else is around here. There is a, uh, left leg. All right, well, let's go get the left leg. Sometimes you need a left leg. 
I should just pick up all the statue parts and then move around. Can I open the door? Yeah, cool. Alright, let's go get this. Yeah, exactly. I need a I need a leg and an arm and a hand with that actually. I love how you could use the stone left arm. Like what? All right, I took all the limbs, I think. At this point, I have a left leg, I have a right leg, I have a left arm. Awesome. All right, let's go do this. Open it. Okay. Pretty nice temple, all things considered. Oh, I need an R for this. I went the wrong way. This, like, sigil that we keep seeing everywhere is pretty sweet. Let me take a closer look at this. So, it's like... Okay. It, it kind of looks like Mr. Potato Head... You know, like, you have a mustache down here, and then, like, the potato body, then there's, like, this one eye. Now, I don't know why there is another eye over here, and then a top hat, but you can, like, you know, Mr. Potato Head, you can put an eye on his nose, and then just a big cyclopean eye on the top, and a little mustache, and a top hat, and you've got this statue. Um, now... It also kind of, I don't know why, but the, the body of this, it looks like Mr. Peanut because of the top hat and like a monocle. The mustache though, all, kind of looks like the Pringles guy. So it's like, I'm getting hungry. Like I kind of want some Pringles and uh, some peanuts. Planters, man. Um, all right, let's go ahead and use uh, this leg. Okay, Warren. Thank you, my friend. Take care. We got it. Oh, my head. Yep. Here's the black and white footage. All right, men, destroy that evil sorceress and her temple with her. Wow. I'm expecting, like, a kind of villain with, you know, a waxed mustache and someone tied to the train tracks to jump out um but anyway um these guys are knights and who were these sent by like al Karid, you think oh here she is you will never have this temple it belongs to my lord now I think you should capitalize the L on that if you're talking about divinity like if you're just talking about a land holder the lower case is okay. Oh, what's she doing? Oh my. Boy, she did... Pretty exact damage to three of them. Four... Avaraka. Avaraka. That's a good question, Nick, man. I should have made the statue, like, with three legs that were all left legs and, you know, um, yeah, exactly, um, Morbin. Yeah, she demolished them. I know, they're like, we're gonna break your temple with swords and armor. So, I don't know, I can't, have I, um... Avaraka, it looks like Verak. Right? Like the town of Varric, but then it has A's on each side of it? Oh, it's the old name for Varric, says Nick Man. Okay, I was going to say, that's what I saw is just Varric with some A's. Um, ha, ha, ha. Oh, that's the evil laugh. You can't hide that. 
Oh, oh, boy, she, she BM'd that guy. All right, not going well here. I opened the door. She, like, easily could have killed all four of them with the same spell, but she left that one guy alive for just one um, moment so she could troll him with, like, the ice block spell. Man, that's rude. All right, what you got? We have a uh, letter K here, I guess. Um, all right. And let's see. Uh, what's, let's go keep going around. And, all right. Uh, let me use this on that, I guess. <laughs> Interesting three letters so far. Yeah, I know. Zamorak is like all I can really see coming out of this. Ow, my head. Oh, camel head. Oh my gosh, why did I make a camel head? Well, why would Zamorak, here it is, want a temple? You said he needed weapons instead. This is Akthanakos. So this is Thanos the titan with some extra AKs thrown in. Um, but this is Akthanakos, who's camel head man with glowing blue eyes. I wish I'd never supported him. What, she's remorseful? So you've seen sense. You'll join our side? Of course. <laughs> of course not, you stupid camel man. I don't think you... Support is a word. But I don't think it's the right word for... Um, unwavering devotion and the construction of a giant temple. That goes beyond support. That's something else. Okay. Um, let's open this. So it's Akthanikos like that. All right, we did it. Let's see if we can make some, something happen. All right, let's see if I put the Z in here. You place the sigil in the lock, it fits exactly. You're darn right it fits exactly. This is another one of those quests, by the way. Right when I started this and I made that little, like, you know, sarcastic comment about my job as a hero, and here we are doing it right here, which is, I told you, I'm going to attempt to help someone and then um, end up causing almost destruction not knowing what I was doing and then try to clean up my own mess. Hey, hey, Sir Theodore, good evening. Yes, I've already been um, having a good time with that. Um, it's like I'm in a, a 1920s, um, you know, silent movie, Sir Theodore. It's hilarious. <gasps> yeah, you're right, Episcu Cat. Ow, my head. Surely this would make a good weapon. You mean animated dead people? Oh, no, curse it. That doesn't work. <laughs> exactly, Amy. It's so funny. Ah. 
Oh, what was the other? The one that I just did before this, Amy, was the guy who, like, I met in Ardoin in the bar who was like, could you help me out? And, uh, you know, get my necklace. Now, I think this is hysterical. Yeah, the staff of um, Armadillo. I did that one. I have the amulet of Armadillo in my my bank. Um, the outcome I got from that, I helped the the people, the the people who were guarding the staff. I can't remember exactly what happened after that. I, I remember I confronted Lucian um, in a shack, and I don't remember if he disappeared or what happened exactly. Now, I'll tell you what. This is hysterical. Can I move the camera? No. The idea... No, no, no. I didn't give it to him. I knew he was bad news. Um, no, no, curse it. That doesn't work. The idea that somebody practicing necromancy would say curse it when the the curse doesn't work. I mean, I'm considering what she's doing to be dark magic like a curse. And she's like, curse it. It doesn't work. And it's like, well, that is what you're trying to do. You're trying to curse the bones into reanimation, you know, um... So it is, it's, it's an amusing thing for, uh, you know, a Zamorakian necromancer to utter. I need a honky-tonk piano playing, you know, um, the scary music. Those augmented notes give us the train terror. Open that door. We're in. I like the music track in here, though. It's very mysterious. No, they'll never curse again. All right, let me unlock all these doors. You're darn right it fits exactly. All right, and then let's go get this one. Got it. Yep, I'm definitely doing the right thing. I'm not benefiting Zamorak in any way. All right, let's go up the ladder. All right, let's see, what have I done? All right, there is a pedestal. There's a recess on the top shaped like a head. Oh, I needed to go remove the, the head of the statue. That's pretty funny. I did not do that yet. All right, let's see what we've got here. We've got six braziers that are... Um, oh, it's really dark in here. Wow, how about that? In, uh, investigate this. It looks like there was once a candle burning here. This one has a different bottom, though, than the other ones. This one's got, like, white stuff in the bottom. I'm getting hit by something. Oh, God. I'm slowly being annihilated in that room. Okay. And let's see. Furnace grate. All right. Let's see what they've got here. That's a little smoky. Goodness gracious. Um, all right. Clear the furnace grate. Oh, wow. Boy, that was a pretty severe sound effect. All right, I did it, and I can smelt something at the furnace. Um. Boy. That's terrifying. All right, um. All right, anyway, I can do that. I guess, if I want to. Um. Examine it. A hot place for forging things in. Good work. 
All right, let's go see what's over here. Talk to um, Penton. Penton, is this the dude from all that those that long time ago? Um, have you come to torture me again? No. Do you always start conversations that way? What? Oh, you may look human, but I know you're not. I've heard stories. How you, um, Majorat can take on any form and use magic to inflict pain without any weapons. Uh-oh. That's right. I gotta be on the, the lookout for Majorat taking on any form. What's that shady dude's name? Bald guy who led me to Lazim or whatever? I gotta keep my eye on Lazim. He's entirely too suspicious for me. Yeah, Serpentin has been... Um, kept alive for quite a while here. Serpentine, I guess, is his name, right? I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm just as human as you are. You'll never get what you want from me. I'm a soldier of Avaraka and will stand strong. Look, I'm not going to hurt you. Besides, I'm already wounded and have been for so many years. Thanks to this spell you cast on me and hungry. So very hungry. Thousands of years. Wow. Um, this is the guy I need to give food to. Oh, you already put the cake down for me? Thank you. Yeah, he needs food. Here. Let's give the man some cake. No, no, I didn't mean to eat it. Aw, oh, I ate it in his face. Oh my god, I trolled this guy so hard. I am torturing him. Here, use the bread on ser Serpentine. Here, try this. It should fill you up. My daughter was learning to cook this when I left. Bread? I don't know how to tell you this, my dude, but you actually bake bread. Your, uh, your daughter was doing something strange if she was trying to get bread going on the stovetop there. All right, um, and can I give this to him again? Here, use this on him. Okay, your daughter was learning to, to cook it. All right, I believe you, Wink Wink. I haven't remembered her in so long. Thank you for reminding me of her. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thank you. The food you gave me healed my wounds, and it also reminded me of my family. That helped me to remember who I was. I'm afraid that I'm trapped here, but I still remember something of the, this floor of the temple. If you need any, any hints about the rooms nearby, I can give you some help. Yeah, so, so Theodore, that's a good point. I've got some bad news. So, since the spell has been cast on you, a uh, little time has passed, and uh, you don't need to go shouting Avaraka anymore. You can just kind of shorten that one up to just Varok. Oh, interesting, Amy. So that's a good point. So Amy's bringing up the point that, like, when this quest was released, it wasn't indicated that it was part of the Majorat series. So you would just be doing this, and you wouldn't really know. Now, interesting. Good point. Um, tell me about the dark room. It's where you develop photographs like the old-time memories that you see in the temple. I never went in there myself, but I peered through the door. Um, there wasn't a door. Maybe a thousand years ago there was. There seemed to be fires of some sort all around the room, but they were burning low. I'd imagine they've gone out by now. Indeed. All right. And let's talk to Serpentine. Are you feeling any better now? Yes, thank you. Um, okay, good. I'm glad about that. Um... What about the fountain? When we came to the temple, that fountain was frosted with ice. 
even chipping at it with swords or lighting fires under it didn't do anything. My guess is that some sort of magic is keeping it that way. Oh, right, so I can use the fire magic on that. Okay. Fair enough. All right, buddy. It's like he's just got a rain cloud on his head. That's too bad. All right, let's see. Let's check out the fountain. Examine the fountain. This fountain is frozen solid. Examine the crust of ice. Very thick and very cold. All right, can I cast, like, Fire Blast? Cast Fire Blast on that. I did it. Melt it. Um, okay. Examine it. Everyone needs a water feature. Indeed. Um, I can fill my water skin. Yeah, sure. Let's drink some Mah Majorat water. Delicious. Oh, there was a... <laughs> Look at this. An aqua. That's a hilarious um, task name. Boom. We did it. All right. Oh, my. Bone guard. All right. So the bone guard is there. Okay. So I did that. I'm going to need to light these fires. So this is where the whole candle thing is coming into play, right? Um, but I'm going to need... Uh, that one is white, so I'm going to need the coal to turn the bottom of that black, maybe. Um, oh, thank you. Here we go. All right, so it says... I think I um, I have 222, Amy. So this says I need normal log, oak log, willow log, maple log, a candle, and coal. All right. So let's see what's in here. Maple logs. All right. So I can take it all. Thank you so much, um, Morbid Fell and Nick Man. All right. Let's take this. And good. All right. So let's see here. Um light it, and then use it on that. Oh. Um, well, I guess that's something you could do. Um. That wasn't really what I meant, but, um. Oh, Pisky Cat, busting out the big, the big insults. All right. Um. Hmm. Okay. Something's burning here, indeed. All right. Uh. Okay, that didn't work. Um. All right. Well, I I mean, I'm not getting hurt in this room anymore. Let's see what else there is here. <laughs> hey, hey. Crispy bacon, good evening. Foul play indeed. Good one. All right. I'm going to go down. I can go up. I could come up some other areas, right? So there's entrances to the other portions. Um... Okay. All right, let's think. All right. Um I'm definitely missing something indeed. All right. So what if I craft these um I can make incense sticks. Oh, oh, right. It says, oh, thank you. It looks like there was once a maple log burning here. Thank you. I didn't see that. Okay, great. Um, use maple logs on that. It doesn't seem to be the right item. Okay. Um, 
Willow, okay. Use Willow Log on that. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Let me try this again. That is a good question, um, Crispy. I don't know if she just takes a certain amount of time or if you have to get somebody else first. I don't know why she didn't show up. <laughs> 